And oh, from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game, we're in South London at Selhurst Park. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Crystal Palace versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. The initial 11 for Wolves. Nelson Semedo plays with Marsal in the fullback positions. Joao Moutinho plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so the match is underway. An effective challenge. Promising sequence. Well, credit to him for trying it. Didn't miss by much. Doesn't want to lose his cool here. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Well, Wilfried Zaha often described as a bit of a one-off, a real talent, and no two ways about that, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him today? Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace, and he's got plenty of pace to run in behind. He does it cleverly. He comes short, then spins in behind, and then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and he usually finishes it off. Benteke. And the ball back with Wolves now. Able to skip past his man. And a goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Ruben Neves on to Jimenez Martinho Huang Hee Chan decent position for Wolves to be in gives it a go well he didn't miss by an awful lot Luka Milivojevic. Gallagher. Good use of advantage by the referee. Conor Gallagher. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Oh, really commanding goalkeeping.
but he's gone short with it cutting in what can he do from this position he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge and a goal now they've broken through 1-0 here Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Roman Saiz. Huang Hee Chan. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Can he find the net? And blocked for now. Luka Milivojevic. And Palace unable to retain possession. Martinho. It's with Ruben Neves. Committed challenge. This is a message for Alan Roach. That's Alan Roach. Please keep him to his Wang Hee Chan. Well, moving the ball impressively here. But just like that, possession changes hands. Mitchell, he's got space. Read it well. And Palace moving the ball with purpose. And space to cross it. A very effective challenge put in. Marcel. Good visualization and execution. Well, a potential opportunity from the corner for Wolves to get right back into it. Delivering it. And he clears the danger. Well, it could be on for him here. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. It'll be a corner. Played over. No nonsense clearance. We're racing away here. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Roman Saiz. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Jimenez. And the right place to cut out the pass. That is that for the first half here. But well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. And the second half is underway with Wolves behind. Can they turn this match around? 
That is a wonderful challenge, and they've kept the ball to boot. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Luka Milivojevic. A bit sloppy in possession. Could be. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Moutinho. Ruben Neves. Excellent vision. It's opening up for them. And routine for the keeper in the end. The cross far too close to him. He's enjoying space. Can he get them level? Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Wang Hee Chan. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Gallagher. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Benteke. Excellent challenge. Nelson Semedo. Ball lost by Wolves. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Odson Edouard. Superbly read and executed. And that is going to be a free kick. He goes short. This could level it. Well, the keeper is happy the bar was there. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. Good tackle. He continues his run. And he's lost custody of the ball here. He made it look simple, really. Raul Jimenez. Chance, maybe. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Corner then to Wolves. And a goal here would really change the complexion of this match. Time for a change then. Coming off the pitch, number 23, Callum Gallagher, to be replaced by number 8, Cheku Kayate. Playing it in. Well, it has come to nothing. Good looking sequence. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Mitchell. 
Wilfried Zaha. Possession lost by Palace. On the attack in the closing phase. And options in the centre. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And a time for cool heads. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. <laughs> Giving the ball away. So almost at full time, and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Just got to see out the final few minutes now. No silly mistakes at the back. Crisp tackling. Anderson. It's with Milivojevic. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Strong but fair tackle. Martinho. Jordan, are you here? Oh, that's a really good run. And it's come off the keeper. And there goes the final whistle. Plenty of reasons for Palace fans to be cheerful on the back of this victory. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Yeah, he was a real handful today. He scored the winner and got himself into some great positions. He really did play well.